Hi, my name is Evan Staples. Guns. More specifically, guns control. I think we can agree this is a sensitive issue in the US and it is a very controversial topic that people feel very strongly about. Personally, I believe that we have our right to bear arms and nobody should be allowed to take that away from us. Um, I'm trying to give you a hopefully new perspective on gun control and why we should, we should be able to have our guns with very few restrictions. So first we will look at the Second Amendment, then we will look at the state restrictions um, and how they've helped or not helped the deaths by firearms. Uh, after that, we will discuss common arguments for gun control, following which we will discuss why they won't or can't work. To start, I would like to state the Second Amendment. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This right was put in place to support our natural <coughs> individual rights, to protect ourselves, to resist oppression, and for our civic duty to protect our state. Some people get picky over the wording used in the Second Amendment, think that it's not an individual right, that this amendment belongs to the state, the power belongs to the states. But every right in the Bill of Rights, every amendment in the Bill of Rights was made for our individual rights. We, we have the right to remain, uh, to remain silent. We have the right of free speech, free religion. We also have the right to bear arms. They don't have any other restrictions other than the, one, the restrictions that are already placed in the amendment. They are already said and stated out. <clears throat> but as I said before, the Second Amendment is very touchy. We are talking about a dangerous tool in the hands of your everyday average citizen. Naturally, we will have to change and add laws to protect everybody for everybody's safety. And this is where state restrictions come into play. Each state creates its own restrictions to guns. To understand what I mean, let's take a look at the difference between two state gun laws. Since we live in Vegas, we'll take Nevada gun laws, and then we'll take California. California gun laws are one of the most strictest in the country, if not the strictest. All of the following information about Nevada and California gun laws comes from the San Francisco Chronicle article, California versus Nevada gun laws. In California, a purchaser of a gun must complete a background check. Depending on the results of this background check, the seller can refuse to sell the firearm to the purchaser. Uh, in Nevada, although we voted for background checks, you are not required to get a background check to buy a firearm. In California, if you are in an ongoing domestic violence dispute, you are prohibited from buying a gun. You are also not allowed to buy in bulk, only allowed to buy one handgun every 30 days. There's no such restriction for rifles. That is mainly because most rifles are banned. Something that is also banned is any ammunition clip that can carry over 10 bullets. That is also banned in California. Nevada has none of the previous restrictions. Both California and Nevada have concealed weapons permits that are issued out by the sheriff. However, there are different requirements for getting a concealed weapons permit. In California, you are allowed to pass a back background check and then you can carry a concealed weapon. In Nevada, you have to be over 21, pass a gun safety course, and then get a background check. Um, to open carry in Nevada, you have to be 18 years old. In California, there's no, you can't open carry at all. Also in California, a buyer has to wait at least 10 days before being allowed to bring a gun home. This is to give everybody a chance to make sure that they want to buy that gun in case they're in some sort of heated dispute between a friend, family member, or a uh, boss. Now, California has one of the strictest gun control laws in the country, but how effective is it really? Well, according to the CDC.gov, in 2017, California had the second highest amount of deaths by firearms in the country, second to only Texas.
California's deaths in the country were over 3,000 deaths. Nevada was ranked 23rd with 508 deaths by firearm. So how can a state with one, if not the strongest gun laws, have one of the highest death counts by firearms? Well, without any guns, how can we protect ourselves? Criminals who don't care about the law and they have guns, they're just gonna pretty much do what they want. This leads me to my next point, common arguments that support gun control. One of the most common arguments, according to thefederalist.com, is that criminals won't have guns if we ban them. This is completely false. If this was true, then prohibition would have worked. Our war on drugs would have worked. So, we lost both of these wars completely. I mean, you see alcohol every day. Drugs, that's one of the worst things that's happened to our country. It's still affecting our population by a lot. Um, quoting a line from the same source, thefederalist.com, the definition of a criminal is someone who doesn't obey the law. Criminals will find a way to be criminals. They'll find a way to get that gun. They'll find a way to get drugs as they have been doing. Another common argument for gun control, again from the Federalist.com, is that gun-free zones are safe spaces. If this was true, October 1st would have never happened. Casinos are gun-free zones. All the school shootings that have happened over the past two, three years, those wouldn't have happened. Gun-free zones are actually a magnet for criminals with firearms. I mean. There's no way for them to defend themselves against a gun. One more common argument for gun control, yet again, from the Federalist.com, is places with strict gun laws don't have shooting problems. Well, if we look at California, this is proven false immediately. It has the second highest amount of deaths by firearm, even with being one of the strictest with gun control laws. Strict gun laws leave us vulnerable to attack. They just don't work. Besides, it's not the gun's fault. The gun is a tool that people use, just like a knife, just like a hammer. Both can be deadly if used improperly, but are we going to make knife safety laws? Or how about hammer control laws? It just doesn't make sense. If we look at the facts, it can be seen that these types of laws and bans don't work. The Second Amendment specifically gave us the right to bear arms. If you don't like guns, then you don't have to buy them. But don't take everybody else's right away because you don't want or like guns. It's not your place. Guns aren't the problem. People are. And criminals will find a way to be a criminal. Whether it be getting guns illegally or using other weapons such as knives and hammers. Don't strip away everybody else's protection because you are okay without it. Before we move on to questions, I would like to leave a quote from Thomas Jefferson talking specifically about the Second Amendment to James Madison that I got from federalistpapers.org. I prefer dangerous freedom over pe peaceful slavery. Yes, guns can be dangerous when used improperly, but remember, they are nothing but a tool. I'd rather be in a dangerous world with the ability to protect myself than live in a safe world being open to criminals. Criminals break the law. They're not going to follow it like law-abiding citizens. Thank you for listening. Are there any questions? You said Nevada has no uh, uh, background check? We voted for it, but it's been be vetoed. It, he doesn't want to deal with it. You can't buy a gun from a registered gun shop without a background check. I am not aware of this. I, I am, because I bought guns uh, at a gun show, at a gun <clears throat> store. You had to go through a background check. You did have to go through a background check. The loophole and the problem is, is allowing people to buy guns from trade shows, there's no background check. If it's a private sale, there's no background check. I bought guns from private owners for cash, didn't even know my name. There's the loophole and there's the problem and of things that need to be fixed. I got no problem with uh, uh, being armed. My problem is, yes, background checks. It should be in every state. I agree with you. I completely, 100% agree with you. Um, that is all the time we have. Thank you for listening. Um, yeah.